Now, we got a very special build that we've been working on for almost a month and a half to two months. This car was shipped all the way from Colorado to California in our headquarters here in Anaheim. We're super excited and we appreciate Bill Brady for giving us the opportunity to work with him. What's that project? What did we do? What did we complete on it? We transformed his car from bumper to bumper, adding carbon fiber, wrap, cosmetics, inserts in carbon fiber, suspension, and you name it. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started and highlight everything that we completed on this Gen 5 SS and show you how beautiful and aggressive it looks the way Bill wanted it to be. Let's get started. All right, guys, Bill just got to our facility. He's in my office right now getting ready. He's super nervous, and I am as well nervous, but super happy for him as well. There's no words to say what we've done to this car, and I'm super thankful and grateful for the opportunity to give us to just ship his car all the way from Colorado to Anaheim, California, and make this bumper-to-bumper full-style project come to reality for him. Without further ado, guys, let's get this car out. Let's get Bill over here with his buddy to come and see the reveal. He hasn't seen his car in two months. He doesn't know what he's expecting, but he knows obviously what he got. Let's just surprise him, show you guys the results and his reaction. I'm super excited. Let's get it. As you can see, you got the flow tie, given the, the bow tie look for performance, the carbon kit inside. With the rods, I kept it silver to kind of match this, so not too much, you know, give it that nice touch. Look at that carbon glow on the hood too, so super, super luxurious. Going around the, the side profile, obviously the tires are all nice and shiny with the wheels, but the midnight purple touch on a right angle, you can really, really notice it. You know, knowing this is your car. I also two-toned it, satin black handles, so we kind of gave it a cool midnight with satin black into it in a way. Check out my beautiful oh my God, Trojan yeah. Wolf SS, kind of making it out and embossed. And then the roof was also in satin black to contrast the look of the carbon fiber on the hood and the trunk. And it looks like it's, it's it looks it's wrapped, but it, a lot of people thought we painted this car, but it's actually wrapped. So let's look over this aggressive rear for you though. This is where my favorite look of your vehicle. Yeah, yeah. that out honestly so going all around you got the high spoiler carbon third brake light the Velux matches with the z28 diffuser and your tips are actually installed so as you can see the carbon tips we made it happen oh, for you 
So it's still Borla. It's still Borla. You got the Borla cats, but we just added the tips. We cut out the Borla tips and we put the carbon fiber tips, which is really, really sweet. And then if you go this side, it's kind of not as sunny, but you see, you kind of get that dark side of the midnight purple in a way, right? Uh, it's a mere perfect, honestly. Overall, the touches on this is on point. One of my favorite cars. If I can ever own a Camaro, this will be the theme that I would want to go with. Save the best for last. You ready to open up your driver door? Yes, sir. Go ahead and open it and see what's inside so you can check it out. <laughs> Let me know what you think, so. Do you mind unlocking the doors on for us? Thank you, thank you. And have a seat. Go. Feel that, sit down, feel it, let us know what you think. <laughs> It used to be normal, but look at the purple flake on the path shifters, the thumbnail in purple, carbon, perforated leather, carbon, carbon. I painted this to match your wrap to make it more custom for you. And then the Colorado SS representing where you're from and then this car is from as well. Well deserved, my friend. Honestly, you saw the vision and it's like, it's here now, so. You know, I've never put together anything that looked this well. Really? Oh, wow. That, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. And this is all with your, your trust, my friend. This catches so much attention. Uh, be ready for that attention, you know, I would say. Is, this is typical in California. Yeah, yeah. This is not typical in Colorado. In Colorado, you The ZL1 owners in Colorado are going to go, holy Like, crap. yeah, what's going on? Oh, this is, this is. <laughs> it's, it's a whole different monster, my friend. So, um, super, super well. The commandeer all conversation. Yeah. I just don't know what to say really. Right now. <laughs> thank you so much, honestly. I really don't know. What to say. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. If, I can't even put words to it, to be honest. And I tried to explain to you over the phone, but I just yeah. couldn't. I just had you see it in person, you know. So. You know it, it, I know this was in a couple of videos because of the the, the ribbon on the front windshield. Yeah. Because I seen that, I said, "Well, there's my car right yeah, there." Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't pull your buddies over. You can pull them over, kind of thing. So. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm surprised. Chevy don't put something similar out. Right, and they didn't talk to us. We need to collaborate with Chevy and make this happen. Because wait, well, before I pull it inside, so I can show you all the other cool things with the color changing, all that. Can we please have it take take a photo with your car? So if you want to be on the driver's side, and I'll be on the passenger side. My name's Bill. Uh, 2014 Camaro Supersport. I'm not the original owner. I, uh, I purchased it from a naval officer who was deployed constantly and it, it was in storage for a good long time. So he had ended up deciding to sell it and I'm, I'm the one who bought it. And, and uh, it's been a car I I didn't always want a Camaro. I didn't set out to buy a Camaro, but I seen the Camaro and I pulled the trigger on purchasing it. And uh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Because the muscle cars we had in the 70s, uh, they don't compare to today's muscle cars. My very, very first car was a 1968 Oldsmobile Cutlass Ramrod 350, which is actually, after it was sold, I found out there was only 560 some made so which um, I wish I still had the vehicle but it still wouldn't have been as much fun as this one is the flight out here was all right just had a little couple of speed bumps one strap on my backpack broke in Colorado Springs the second strap broke in Denver and then from Denver to John Wayne Airport I uh, kind of nodded off and spilled a soda pop in my lap so uh, yeah, not too bad overall. My favorite part of the car, the car is uh, probably the rear end and the second favorite is the front end. The wrap isn't shabby at all either. It, it's running a close third to the second and the first. You know, the, the front and the rear end is just, I think that's where it pops. That's what that's makes it change. So that's 100%, I agree with you on that. 
Well, you know, uh, I went to high school in two different places. The first high school was Fountain Fort Carson High School in Fountain, Colorado, which uh, the, the Trojan was their mascot. And then my second high school was in Germany. My father was in the army and uh, he got orders for Germany. And uh, I went to Würzburg American High School and their mascot was the wolf. And their colors were purple and white. So purple fast became a favorite color of mine. I heard about Auto Addicts USA, not from anyone. I was just going through YouTube watching different videos. Uh, um, I started off by watching monkeys, believe it or not. And from the monkeys, I, I ran into uh, Auto Addicts and I seen the Camaros that they were putting out. And I thought this was a, a Camaro exclusive company and which it is not. Uh, but the majority of the work I was seeing on video was, uh, was being done to Camaro. And uh, since I owned a Camaro, I said, you know, it'd be, it, it'd be pretty cool to get a couple of these mods done to it. And uh, a couple of mods ended up being the whole car. The first mod on my list was probably the Midnight Purple. You know, since I live in Colorado and, and we're out here in Anaheim, I didn't want to be transporting or driving back and forth to California. So I just had to make a decision to have it all done at once. Then drive a factory looking car in and drive a custom looking car out. You know, these days I understand these electric cars are badasses, but those electric cars cannot give you the feeling of a muscle car. It's just, it's, it's, it's two different breeds of cat right there. And, and, and the feeling you get from a true Camaro muscle car, or matter of fact, even if it's a Mustang or a, a Challenger, it's, it's, that, it's the feeling of that V8. I didn't have this done to have it sit in a garage and have people look at it. I had this done to drive it around and have people look at it and inspire them to do something with their vehicles. Granted, if they're married, their wives give them permission to do it. It's, it's not cheap to make a car look like this. It does take some money, and the, but the satisfaction you get after you do it is second to none. You know, I want to thank Mo. Um, if I didn't see Mo on the videos, which, you know, by the way, Mo is the face of auto addicts. He, I mean, if you was to put any other face on the videos other than Mo's, it just, it just would not resonate with the viewership out there. And I really appreciate watching over and over the videos because by seeing what other people do in the videos, it inspired me to do certain things to this car also. But, you know, Auto Addicts, I'm real, I'm real happy to be part of the grand opening and the, the very roots of this, uh, of, of this business going forward into the future, into this new headquarters and, and to me being part of this, this uh, the family of Auto Addicts. You know, I'm 62 years old and uh, usually people my age do not have this done to their vehicles. It, it's usually a young man's game that does it. It's not a 62 year old's. The feeling I'm getting right now, just just seeing the vehicle the way it looks, it's, it's a feeling I've never felt before. But um, no matter what your age is, I think doing a custom build like this through Auto Addicts, of course, is, is, is something that you won't regret. Young people inspired me to do this. Um, it wasn't someone my age that inspired this build. It was the videos I seen that were posted uh, from Auto Addicts that inspired me to do this. But hopefully my video um, is gonna inspire the older generations, you know, to do this. People my age are, you know, 50s, in the 50s. Um, it, it, it's not, it's not, the age you are, it's, it's how you feel. If you just keep it purely to how you feel, you can't go wrong with doing something like this. You just can't.
So luckily guys, the sun is out right now. It's a beautiful, perfect time to make sure and show you what we got to it. Let's get started with the film wrap all over. As you can see, midnight purple Enostec bumper to bumper full wrap with satin black contrast. As well, right in the front, the Z01 1LE 10 to 15 Camaro Fitment Auto Addicts brand with our carbon fiber insert kit that we now offer for you guys. What's so exciting about this product that you guys are probably watching right now is finally the first Camaro with us right here to have a flow tie upper grille for our conversion kit that we manufacture for you guys. A lot of inquiries that we get on this, do you guys make the flow tie grill for your bumper? We finally do, it is available. It comes in a carbon flash mosaic finish with the chrome flow tie to make sure it's replicated the right way it's supposed to. We are super happy and look at this bumper compared to the flat black inserts that comes with our normal kit. This is a much more aggressive and meaner look. As you guys go downhill, bottom chin splitter, but we added an extension splitter with the rods to give the car a more aggressive look and protects the carbon fiber. Now, if you buy a Z01 1LE OEM from the factory, whether it's a 2017 all the way up to 2023, you get a complete fog light delete. So meaning we replicated this exactly the way it is supposed to be. It's a bezel and carbon fiber and the canards that connects to the bezel, but there is no fog light. It's just meant for airflow for performance. Since this is a 6.2 engine, it's a perfect mock for him to give him the, all that airflow that it deserves into his uh, radio. Now, going over to the lower grille, again, same exact thing. Our carbon lower grille, though, comes with a honeycomb hexagon mesh grille behind it to give the car a much more aggressive look and be in carbon fiber. Also, with the chin splitter, 1LE molded one piece with the winglets as well being all one piece. Again, carbon fiber to match everything that we have. Going over to the so top side of the vehicle, guys, he did want a very aggressive carbon hood. He wanted something very simple but eye-catching. This Anderson Composites hood is uh, has a little high of a middle scoop, about an inch, to an inch and a half or so, but it comes with three vents on each side to cool down the engine and they're fully functional. Going over the side profile, guys, fully midnight purple Eno stack with satin black two-tone mirrors, satin black handle. The roof is also satin black to give that combination of an aggressive look that it deserved. Now, going over to the rear, let me show you something really quick. Let's dive into it. We are super excited to announce our Z01 1LE full-on carbon fiber spoiler that will fit a 14, 15, and 10 to 13 Camaro. But in order to get this, you can keep your OEM trunk, and if you have a big spoiler, you might have some uh, OEM holes exposed. There's two options on that. You can get a carbon fiber OEM trunk, like Bill did with us over here, or you can bondo and cover the entire uh, holes that comes with the OEM spoiler if you don't want it to be exposed. This right here changes the game on the Gen 5 community, especially for all of the people that are rocking our bumper. This will match the front and the rear going over being carbon fiber. Our beautiful signature touch, Velux tail lights, 3D aggressive bright LED reverse brake turn signals and nighttime running. One of my favorite go-to tail lights when it comes to 14, 15 Camaros. Going downhill, lastly, the bumper is wrapped in midnight purple and the license plate surrounding is in satin black to contrast it just a little bit and finally finishing over on the bottom with the z28 carbon fiber rear diffuser and the quad tips carbon fiber to match the look that it deserves now we didn't get those tips for him our client did get it and uh, shipped it to us and we installed it for him so if you guys also have parts that you guys want to install for your car while working on your vehicle by all means we'll be more than happy to help out let's save the best for last let's check it out let me take you to the driver door and open it and show you what he was equipped with to just finish the interior and make it look really nice and sporty check out our beautiful branded carbon fiber steering wheel two-tone as we did all around with the horn cover being carbon fiber he wanted to say colorado ss because obviously he's from colorado our thumbnails 
in purple carbon with purple stitching and perforated leather on each side. Flat bottom, round top, carbon fiber with the paddle shifters as well in carbon with a little bit of a flake and purple to give it that nice tone. Now, we didn't just do this whole car. We also ceramic coated it in polished Enostex film, which makes the car a lot more luxurious and bright. Let me show you guys an example what a ceramic coating wrap looks like when we pour the water right on top of any panel all around, even the carbon fiber. Let me show you guys. All right, Brandon's gonna go ahead and put water on the quarter panel as you guys know, and it's not gonna stick and you can see everything's just dripping down and that's what ceramic coating does to your vehicle it won't just protect it from the uv but it'll also help clean the car a lot faster and not a lot of dust can stick onto it as well water finger plates and all that will be okay if we let this sit for a little bit right now all that water is going to go all away and we just simply wipe it with a microfiber towel and it's done but if it wasn't ceramic coated if it wasn't polished a lot of the fingerprints, a lot of the dust will stick on that film and potentially damages it and shows us a lot of swirls. So that's the benefit of ceramic coating, which I highly recommend. And if you ceramic coat Enostec, it'll make that color pop even more than its actual version. So 100% recommended. And if you look into that, of course, we offer those services from A to Z, full wraps, polish, uh, ceramic coating and many more. All right guys, so Bill's about to leave. It's a very uh, honorable moment for us, but it is sad as well. We did have his car for about two months or so and it's finally going back to his home. But he's not going just home yet. He has an alumni event to go all the way to Las Vegas every four years. He went to a high school out in Germany. Uh, which represent this build theme very alike to what he wanted to look like. So that build will be revealed at his uh, alumni uh, spot that he's gonna be meeting up with all his friends that he went to high school with in Las Vegas. After that, he's gonna be driving to Colorado from Nevada to his house. But let's scotch type his uh, front bumper, make sure there's no rock chips, he's protected from all the bugs, even though it's ceramic coated, but always play uh, protective. And let's go ahead and show you guys the final results. Wrap number two, here we go. Keep there, there you go. Please do. Please do. Yes. Yes. Slow down. There you go. There you go. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Like All I right. said, probably next year. Yeah. You know, when you hold a big event here. Yeah. I'll be one of the ones coming in. I would love to. to. I would love to. I would love to. It will be an honor. Frankly, um, the only thing I can see myself in other than the Camaro is probably the hearse I'll be riding in one day. So, and I won't be driving that one, and I doubt if it'll be a muscle hearse. So, <laughs> probably be an electric hearse. <laughs>